Alright, you two boys and girls out there, what is up, what is up, what is up people? It is your buddy Gemma here and today in this video guys, I've got some Samurai Warriors 4 and Warriors Auto Chief 3 Ultimate news. Woo! And in this video guys, I've got some Warriors Auto Chief 3 Ultimate gameplay trailer for PS4. Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys are actually excited, I mean next gen stuff baby. Uh, uh. Alright guys, before I show you guys this uh, Warriors Auto Chief 3 Ultimate gameplay trailer in PS4, I just want to say Happy 8 Mubarak for all of Muslims who are in the world. Happy Idol V3 for those for those Muslims in the world and yeah, let's celebrate <laughs> All right guys, and yeah, I know a lot of you guys are actually excited about this video games right here about this video about Warriors of the Chief 3 Ultimate uh, English uh, Warriors of the Chief 3 Ultimate gameplay trailer for PS4 and here it is Alright guys, would you look at that? That is the next gen quality baby and I know that I know a lot of you guys thinking what the hell Gemma is this truly next gen? I mean is this really a PS4? What happened to the graphic? Just like I said fellas, it's YouTube. The, gra the graphic of this video is totally different than in real life. It's YouTube. Alright, so if you guys want to see the better quality of this PS4 trailer game gameplay trailer for this Wars of Chief 3 Ultimate, be sure you guys to check out link in the description or you guys just click right here and it will direct you to Koei's channel. And yeah, you're and you're gonna see the real quality about this War of the G3 Ultimate gameplay trailer for PS4. And if still the quality is kind of sucks, well, just like I said, it's YouTube. It's different than in real life. So yeah, I mean, for those of you guys who actually know about the differences, and for those who for those of you guys who who actually already play the Japanese version in PlayStation 3, and you guys can see right there, there there are actually many many soldiers standing in front of you, around you. There will be many soldiers like. 20 or 25 soldiers will be standing you know, uh, around you so yeah that's the difference i guess that's first of first of differences about next gen and current gen i guess so yeah i mean that's well yeah that's the kind of difference and i already said that in the previous video about samurai warriors 4 as well so the current gen of this samurai warriors 4 you know you're you can only face like you you can only see like 10 or 12 soldiers in front of you but in next gen and then there will be more of that more of the soldiers you can see I mean around your around your characters So yeah, I mean that's the difference anyway guys and just like I said in the um, In the beginning of this video that I got some Warriors or 3 ultimate and Samurai Warriors 4 news First of all, it's about Warriors or 3 ultimate, which is the website ding 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 the website already open fellas the website for Warriors or 3 ultimate WarriorsOrochi.co.uk If you guys want to check it out, link in the description as always You guys want to check it out the website and Just like I said, the website will tell you every, uh, will tell you Some stuff about the game Well, for example, like this one right here and You guys can see the screenshot right there And this is the list of the new characters of Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate And yeah, I mean, this website always tells you about the games And not really that detail I mean, as you guys can see, there's the new moves The new modes, screenshots and movies we still come with a black color because well they don't want to ruin they, they, they don't want to become a spoiler you know so yeah they're, they're just you know keep keep it uh, you know keep the link hidden so you get you can't click it yet 
until maybe like uh, a year or six months later maybe so yeah i mean you guys can see right there this is new characters rachel the big breast girl from ninja gaiden games say may abe the new character of the mystic character damn he carried a wolf god damn and my lady kasumi the pretty girl from dead or alive games and Shenong, I, s I believe that this guy actually came from Water Sword Chief 3 Hyper for Wii EU, for Wii U, whatever that console name is. Wii U, yeah, it's uh, the Water Sword Chief 3 Hyper. Hyper! Water Sword Chief 3 Hyper is only for Wii U only, so yeah, I mean, this Shenong is actually already available in that game. And next one is Momiji, another cute lady character from, the, uh, from Ninja Gaiden, and actually dead or alive as well. And Shushu, the character from Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires. Tamamono Mae, which is the sexy fox lady, which is gonna be another evil character in this game, and Sturken Burke, which is this character actually came from all tier games, all tier games. And last but not least, the big breast girl Sophithia, which just came from Soul Calibur. Damn, these new characters are actually kinda awesome. These new characters are great! Can't wait to play as Rachel in this kinda Warriors game. So, that's about Warriors Order Chief 3 website. If you guys want to check out the details, just like I said, go to the description and you will find another link that will lead you to their websites. And let's move on to the next screenshots, which is this one right here, Warriors Order Chief 3 Ultimate. And I believe um, that this uh, this is actually uh, talking about the new stuffs that uh, you know the new features in uh, the new features in Warriors Order Chief 3 Ultimate. If you guys want to check it out, I already put some links as well in the description that will lead you to Koei's Facebook page, which is about this screenshot right here. So you guys can see right there, Warriors Order Chief 3 Ultimate press pet button. Huh, sounds familiar. That is actually from PlayStation 4. Oh yeah, for those of you guys who actually already buy Dynasty Warriors at Extreme Legend, you guys definitely know that it's not start button anymore. It's not option button that you must press in this game so it's a pet button so oh my god can't wait to play this game in ps4 <laughs> and yeah just like i promise i'm gonna get this game in ps4 and yeah i gotta say this screenshot right here you guys cannot see the uh, the writing stuffs in the right side if you guys can see right there the screenshots and if you guys want to see more detail about this uh, new stuffs that actually Koi already mentioned uh, for Wars of the 3 Ultimate. If you guys want to check it out, the detail about this new features and stuff, go to the description and it will lead you to Koi's Facebook page about this news. Alright, so let's move on to the next screenshots. We just, I just got this from Koi's Facebook page as well, which is this one right here. It's a Samurai Warriors 4 special pack. So I believe this one is like collector's edition. You guys can see right there. You guys can read right there the right side to celebrate the 10th anniversary anniversary of Samurai Warriors. We're happy to announce the collector's edition. Ding 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 ding. Oh yeah baby. Samurai Warriors 4 special anime pack this includes. So yeah just I mean I mean you guys definitely already know that Samurai Warriors 4 is also coming up with an anime. Uh -huh. So yeah I mean it's gonna be fun to watch. So so the the special uh, collector's edition contains a special anime pack which is the 10th anniversary collector's edition packaging or some shit like that and Samurai Warriors Legend of the Sanada anime as well which is it's come with the blu-ray disc and Samurai Warriors 4 game for PlayStation 4 which is well it's the physical release of course the next generation console remember that and Samurai Warriors 4 official soundtrack CD which is I believe this uh, this CD will contain all of the Musics in Samurai Warriors for the soundtrack and special custom pack for Gracia, Ina, Nene and Oichi DLCs Now I don't know about this fellas just like I said in the previous videos that I already promised to you guys That I'm gonna get the DLCs for every uh, For every English uh, you know for every English version of this game. I mean uh, When the first time I announced you guys about the DLCs about the cute DLCs actually they're like trading clothes it's like uh, Ina is wearing Nene's clothes and Nene is wearing Oichi's clothes and Oichi's wearing Ina's clothes. It's like trade costumes and it's, and it's actually making Oichi's looks pretty cute and hot. And I already promised you guys that I'm gonna get this DLC pack. I mean this DLC is for the ladies and I already promised you guys I'm gonna upload about it as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get this uh, uh, collector's edition. But I don't know. I mean, I have a question though. I mean, is if I didn't get the special collector's edition will i am i am i still can buy this you know am i am i still can get this dlc's from a ps store i mean without buying the special collector's edition i mean this collector's edition is gonna be expensive as hell <laughs> i mean there's a dlc you know there's a dlc's anime blu-ray disc and also the blu-ray disc for the game itself and the cd oh damn the price is definitely gonna make me 
throw up <laughs> and fainted. So yeah, I mean, if I if I you know if I'm not getting this collector's edition, will I still able to get this DLCs? I mean, just the DLC clothes for the ladies, for God's sake. I mean, if the if they actually sell separately in a PlayStation Store, then then I'm not gonna get this collector's edition, and I'm just gonna buy it from the PS Store because the only thing that I need is a special DLCs costume, and that's it. I mean, well, I don't know about the stuff. I mean, like CDs. Uh, music soundtrack CDs actually don't need that at all because I believe Samurai Warriors 4 will contain its music from the you know from the PS from the game itself. I mean just like uh, just like Dynasty Warriors 8. Dynasty Warriors 8. If you guys go to options and sounds and you guys can hear all of the musics that contain in Dynasty Warriors 8 game. So if Samurai Warriors actually do that as well, why the fuck should I get the CD version? So yeah, I mean well for those of you guys who actually like this, uh, you know anime pack and uh, CD well I recommend it for you guys to buy this uh, collector's edition I mean well for those of you guys who actually love animes I'm sure a lot of people actually waiting for Samurai Warriors for animes as well I mean I already read all of the comments in Koei's channel as well a lot of you guys actually excited about this Samurai Warriors for anime but for me I'm more excited about the game than the anime itself so anime later I'm gonna buy the game <laughs> but anyway guys yeah about the DLCs I don't know about it I mean if I want to get these cute DLCs, the cute trade cloth DLCs, am I have to get this collector's edition or not? But, well, the answer to that is I don't know yet. But anyway, let's move on. Old custom pack Yukimura, Mitsuhide, Nobunaga, No Oichi, and Ranmaru DLC. All right, so I already buy the Japanese version, fellas, and I only get Yukimura's DLC cloth, and that's it. I mean, for the for the old one, for the classic Samurai Warriors, aka Samurai Warriors One costumes. I already uploaded a video about it as well and yeah just check out in my channel about Yukimura's DLC gameplay and actually it's like Samurai Warriors 1 costume so yeah I mean it's gonna be funny using that but hell for for Yukimura it's actually not that much differences I mean he always wear this red armor since the beginning anyway so yeah it's not really make a huge differences but for the ladies maybe but anyway the next one is edit parts pack one which allows facial and western themed armor customizations the dlc as well i don't know about this dlc i don't know about this one i i actually just heard of it i mean edit parts pack one allow you to facial and western themed armor what does that mean does that mean i can wear a a french a french soldier armor i mean like john of arc if i'm be able to you know make a john of arc in samurai warriors 4 with this dlc's customization damn it's gonna be interesting dlc's <laughs> i mean shit i can make a john of arc i mean i can get it i can get her hair her face her armor and yeah her suits for battle i mean if if the dlc is talking about that it's gonna be interesting though it's gonna be one hell of a dlc probably i'm gonna get after i'm getting this dlc clothes for the ladies so yeah, I mean, that's all about the collector's pack and about Samurai Warriors 4. What do you guys think? Leave that in comment below. And just like I said, I always love to hear people's thought. And yeah, what do you guys think about this collector's pack edition? Will you guys actually get it? Will you guys actually buy this game? Buying this game with a, you know, collector's edition? Since, well, you will get the anime pack, a CD, music. Actually, the CD music is nothing. I mean, well, you can get it from, from the game itself. But what about the animes? The animes like the rare stuffs. I mean... <laughs> well, I, well, I actually love anime, and yeah, just like I said, I love to watch animes like you know Dragon Ball Z and other animes like the cute animes from the Japanese. But about Samurai Warriors 4, actually, I wanna get this one. But if they sell it separately, then I'm gonna get it. I mean, I I can get it later, of course. But for me though, I'm more excited about the game than the anime itself. Just like I said, so. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get this collector's edition, but what about you guys? Are you guys actually getting this collector's edition? I know a lot of you fans of Samurai Warriors 4 about Ko and fans of Koei's games actually gonna get this collector's edition. But for me though, eh, it's just like 50-50 maybe I'm gonna get this game. But I mean, I'm gonna get this collector edition. But for the game, I'm definitely gonna get it. I'm more focused on the game here, not the collector's edition. So yeah, this is just uh, an, an, an announcement for Koei. I, I mean, from Koei. So yeah, I mean, about this. Uh, I already told you guys about the collector's edition pack as well which is contained animes and some stuffs and also the dlcs but yeah for me though eh, just like i said maybe i'm gonna get it maybe not but anyway that's all the news i can show you for today fellas that's all the pictures i can show you for today remember to check out the description fellas remember whenever i make a videos don't forget to check out the description because i always put tons of links in the descriptions i mean well i always put them links i always put some links whenever i post up the news about this Samurai Warriors 4 or other Warriors games. So yeah, just like I said, make be sure you guys to check it out the descriptions. I already put a lot of links, which is actually about this news as well, about Warriors Solo 3 new stuffs. I already put up the links in there as well. 
and about Warriors Auto Chief Free Ultimate websites, which is, is just open for the English version one.co.uk. So yeah, be sure you guys to check out the description for the links and also about Samurai Warriors 4 Collector's Pack. And remember guys, don't forget to booty smack that subscribe and like button if you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure you guys to leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think about the Collector's Edition? Are you guys actually gonna get it? I mean, shit, a lot of people actually kind of disappointed. Let's face it, I already make a videos about uh, the Samurai Warriors 4 and Warriors Origin 2 Ultimate in the previous videos that I already said to you guys that for, for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita, they will not have this physical release. And they also will not contain the English voice dubbed, uh, English voice actors. So yeah, I mean, actually, a lot of people actually disappointed. I mean, about my previous videos. I mean, well, why, why they haven't, why they they are not making the English voice actors and blah 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 blah. And what about the physical release? Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. Blah 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 and some stuff and some shit like that. And actually, some of you people from my subscribers actually happy about it. I mean, happy about the you know the Japanese voice actor. Not the English voice actors. I know some of you guys actually like it. I know some of you guys actually like the English voice actors. I know some of you guys actually love the Japanese voice actors with the English text. So yeah, for me though, I'm not. I'm not gonna be too judgmental, but I'm still getting this game. Just like I said in the previous video, even though this game's not gonna have English voice actors, still I'm gonna get this game. Just like I said, because I already promised you guys that I'm gonna get it in my PS4 and I'm gonna upload it. Uh, the remote play with my feet as well. Alright, so anyway, thank you all so much for watching and peace. I'm out of here